Jane Hawkins' story isn't that well known. Um, what do you think? How do you think people will react to it? Um, well, I hope that they enjoy it. And um, we were always really keen with this film that um, there was lots of humour in it because we met Jane and Stephen's eldest child, Tim, mm. and he would always tell us stories about when um, when he was growing up and he'd put swear words into Stephen's <laughs> voice box or, um, you know, or ride on the side of Stephen's electric wheelchair. So it was always just trying to find the reality of a family dealing mm. with that situation. Cool. And um, Jane shows a lot of strength in supporting Stephen. Is it important that she shared his honours um, after they were separated? Uh, absolutely. And um, uh, Stephen recently said how you know, he don't think he wouldn't have survived without Jane. That mm -hmm. um, that he was in an incredible depression when he was diagnosed, and, and she really brought him out of that. And, and it was very much they were a true partnership. And and um, and it's interesting how famous and successful people there is often someone in the background who who is a real support. And, mm -hmm. and that was very much the the case with this situation. How did um, your acting relationship change on set as Eddie's performance became more physical? Um, well, it was always just trying to play the truth of that interaction between Jane and Stephen, and there was some really great archive footage mm -hmm. from when um, Stephen still had his voice through to when he no longer had it, and, and I used that a lot to get the subtlety of the interaction between them. Is there a movie hero you would like to play? Jane Bond. <laughs> <laughs> that would be good. Why not? Why not? <laughs> I read somewhere that you and Eddie prepare in similar ways. Um, did you develop your ideas together, or is that something you learned more early on in your career? Um, it was by chance, actually. We both had similar ways of working. Mm. Um, just, I think, both of us have learned from from making films, and also we both worked in the theatre and brought a lot of the practices that we'd learned there mm. to the film. Um, but it was just coincidence that we both had this very similar way of working, mm. and and um, and and. I love both. Love doing lots of takes, which probably drives James crazy. <laughs> uh, but, but and just that we were so fortunate to, that it was so collaborative in that way. What do you think that science fans will get out of this film? Well, I hope they enjoy it. I, I um, it was it would be quite embarrassing sometimes when because James, Eddie, and I all studied uh, art subjects at university, mm. so trying to talk you know coherently about black holes was sometimes a bit challenging for us mm -hmm. but um but i yeah i hope i hope they enjoy it